Hey, sis. Hey, um, so one of the things you, you were interested in learning about was some kind of writing program. And I'm assuming it's for um, just writing typical documents. Since you're on a Mac, you don't ha you're not using Word probably. Um, so what I'm going to do is kind of show you a couple of different tools that you can use and some basics about them. Um, and we'll take it from there. So the first program is a Mac program called Pages. And there's a couple of ways you can kind of bring it up on your computer. One is if you open up Finder, which I have a Finder window open here, but it's this little icon down on the bottom of the mousing over a little smiley face looking thing. <clears throat> and if you're in Finder, you can in you're in your applications directory, then you can just go and look for pages. That's sorted alphabetically. And it's, um, it's an Apple program that lets you uh, write documents. Another way to bring it up is if you, if you hold the command key and hit space bar, you should get a little spotlight search that pops up and you can just type pages and hit enter and it'll load it up. And so what it does, it loads up and it wants me to kind of either open a document or create a new document. So I'm gonna say new document. <clears throat> and then with pages, you have a lot of options as far as templates go, which is really kind of nice if you want to do, I know you like to do like um, little newsletter things, things like that. You, know, you can see lots of different kinds of templates to choose from, um, brochures, newsletters, so a lot of different uh, templates. And you can even um, look online and look for pages templates, but all here, I'll just open up this uh, sample news or simple newsletter. <clears throat> and then it kind of pre-populates with content, but you'll see here I've got a header, got a footer, and then, you know, some title text. And you'll see this, um, this kind of preview here um, on the right hand side just shows you all of the different options that you can set for each kind of text block that you have going. And here's a picture so I could set up borders if I want and just type text. Um, so it has a lot of different options uh, available. And you can, of course, insert lots of different things into the document. So you can put charts, you could put shapes, you can put media, you can insert comments, all that fun stuff. <clears throat> and then it also has the sharing capability, which allows you to share via iCloud or send a copy. If you wanted to send a copy to someone that they can have um, access to, and when you're sharing via iCloud, you can actually uh, let people collaborate on the document with you, which is kind of nice. But it's not nearly as refined as Google Docs, and that's the other option that I'm going to show you. But this is uh, Pages. Um, it's, it's a word processing application very much like Word. But the one thing I like about Pages as opposed to Word is it gives you a lot of freedom as, where you, as far as where you want to place items on the page and it has a lot of nice templates available to it. So next up we'll talk about uh, Google Docs. So now I'm gonna show you a little bit about Google Docs. Um, I know you have a Gmail account, so in your Gmail account, this is my Google Plus account, but a similar concept. In your Gmail account in the upper right hand corner you should see a series of little boxes. That's your apps button. If you click on that, um, you'll see something called Drive. And, I already, and if you click on that, it'll open up, and I'll show you, I have a tab open already. It'll open up something like this. I've got a lot of stuff in mind because I use it quite a bit. Um, but Google Drive is kind of an online storage place where you can put all kinds of documents. Um, you, can even, you can even download the application, on the Google Drive application on your computer, and it becomes a folder on your desktop or on your computer. <clears throat> so to create a document in Google Docs, you just say New and say Google Docs or click Google Docs um, and then it'll just open up a, a document and you can start typing whatever you want. Um, it, I think they do have some templates um, but I haven't, let me just look here, I think there are templates that you can use I just haven't uh, played around with the templates I just end up typing documents on here but as you can see in the different menus you can see you've got um, you know edit, undo, redo, um, you can insert images, drawings, similar things like we like I showed you in pages, set up your formatting, bold, italics, uh, all those kinds of things. It does have a spell check. Um, so it's it, you know it's basic, it's a pretty basic word processing document, but the really cool thing about it is that it has this sharing capability. And if you click on share, um, I'll just name it here. 
um, you can share it with particular people or you can get a shareable link. Um, so like if, for instance, if you wanted to share it with me, you just type in my Gmail address here and then choose my rights, edit. I can edit or I can comment or I can view and then you just say done and it'll send me an email letting me know that you've shared a document with me. The other cool thing is like, let's say for instance, you're collaborating with a bunch of different people and you wanna share a link out that everybody who has the link can, can edit the document. You can just click this get shareable link and then you change the permission saying anybody with the link can edit and you copy the link and then you, and then you just email that out to whomever you want. And it's kind of an easy way um, to, to share a document uh, with a bunch of different people. And the other nice thing is that if I had shared this out with somebody else, if they were um, editing the document with me, they can edit it at the same exact time I am. And, and then up here, there'll be these little boxes that should pop up and it'll show you who's currently looking or working on the document with you. So that's kind of a nice feature. You don't have to worry about saving all the time because it saves automatically for you. Um, so because what you're doing is you're editing and creating the document in, on the internet. Um, you'll see I have my web browser open and that's what I'm using to create and edit the document. So those are some basic um, word processing tools uh, that'll help you in creating documents.